Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Kitsuga. First look at Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. So this is the very first Alpha Weekend of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Uh, it's basically <laughs> my first uh, crack at this one. Uh, I've never seen it before, uh, so I'm gonna give it a try. Change the size of this logo here. Before I haven't done anything, I just booted up the game, so we're in character creation right now. Sorry if the music's a little loud, I don't have any control over the music. Um, this is a very, very early beta, uh, so I'm sure there'll be more stuff being added. Close beta at the bottom there, you can see. Looks like we have choice of three skin tones, uh, male or female models. I'm going to go with the female model, uh, red hair. And um, how about short cropped red hair? Yeah, I can do it. So then on the top left, we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're on the EU server right now. I wonder if we can change the US. No, we can't. All right, well, we'll try the EU server. thought the US server was supposed to open at 1 a.m. There may be some, some lag issues that have nothing to do with, uh, with us. So drinking some coffee. I'm awake. This is a game made by Blue Hole. Mm, player unknown, obviously, hence player unknown. So this is a survival style game, uh, the idea being that, you know, you dropped in Battle Royale style, you're dropped in, you gotta survive and craft and live, in theory. Uh, so we'll see what happens, I don't know, uh, I don't know what's gonna end up happening. We're just gonna try to jump right in here. Definitely be streaming some of this on Twitch tonight, you guys, um, as well. So keep an eye on our channel. If you don't follow us on social media, the best way to find us, that's uh, our Twitter, at Kitsuka Gaming, or Twitch, Kitsuka Gaming. Well, I'm in the game, maybe. Kind of. Lost the screen again. Come on. Come back. I'm getting a massive... Oh, there we go. Wow, that is obnoxious. I want to turn that off right away. Yeah. Alright, so looks like we're going to press F to eject. I'm going to try to get away as much as possible. Looks like there's a city area over there. I'm going to follow that old those old daisy rules where there is city there is salvage and loot so we'll head that way hopefully we'll get away from everybody else I'm hoping those are apartment blocks over there and that will help me train looking a little rough okay well my parachute deployed itself uh, I didn't do that. Oh yeah, there's the lag. Uh, that's the lag. The lag is real. Um, the EU server lag is real, guys. Um, let's see how bad it is when I get on the ground, as I enter the ground. That looks okay. Alright, we're gonna go to this little farmhouse over here. We'll see if we can find any loots. Obviously, we don't have anything right now. Uh, people are already dying, which is unsurprising. A bunch of people with guns already. Uh, I'm gonna have to remap the shit out of these controls because I don't fucking want my action key to be on F. A love letter to games that put their action key on F. Stop it. It's fucking not good. Alright, mate, just don't do it. Alright, so. No, no loots in here? No loots in here. Proceed to play area marked. Oh, hey, that looks like scope. Okay. Two scopes. That looks like a gun. 7.62. Alright, we'll take that. No, I, I want the gun. Car 98. Okay, we got the Russian gun. Car 98K and bandages. Alright. Uh, so let's pop into the inventory and attach this 4X scope to our car 98. Uh and put some 7.62 bullets in our car 98. Oh uh, no, we want to equip that. Come back, there we go. 
Not sure if the car 98 takes 762. Um, reload. Sort of hard to tell the difference between detritus and loot at the moment. Um, let's see, is there like a scope in? Uh, let's hide out over here for a minute and take a look at the controls. Anything else set to E right now? Roll right. Oh, because Q and E are set to roll right and roll left. Alright, that's fine. Toggle firing mode. B. Okay, that's not it. Targeting, reload, next weapon. Walk, sprint, jump, toggle crouch, roll left, roll right, weapons. Increase, decrease, zeroing, use med kit, use first aid, use boost item, item stack. While driving, hmm. No, uh, no control for, for the zoom in, which is a little weird. Can't use the scope, I guess. So, somewhere on my map, in here, I guess, or in this safe zone here. Let's head towards that safe zone. I do have a gun, so hopefully that doesn't kill me. I, don't know, I guess we'll find out as we go. This is my first time playing as well. Um, so, so far, the only thing I've really noticed is that we definitely have classic uh, Daisy Syndrome here, where we're, we're in the middle of nowhere, and I haven't seen shit. <laughs> Can we jump this fence? No. That's a... Do, do, open the door. Oh, I will take that. Very awesome. And motorcycle helmet. It's probably armor. Some shotgun shells. A tactical stock. Okay. Red dot sight. Okay. Gas can. Never bad. I'm gonna stay inside while the large scary plane goes over the top. Partly because I don't know what the large scary plane does, and partly because if it's dropping bombs like it does in every other survival game, then I don't want to be underneath them. Not that in real life the house would protect you from bombs, but you know. So let's see. Anything in this house? Oh, okay, we got a P911. So we can. Equip that, but we have no bullets, so we'll need to find some more bullets for it. We'll keep that car 98 out for a while. Let's just go upstairs and see if we can find anything. There's a lot of litter everywhere in this game. People with non-good graphics cards need not apply, apparently. Just for shits and grins, I'll look up, uh... I'll look up the system requirements in a minute. Oh, there's a big lag spike. Whoa, big lag spike. Can't say I'm particularly surprised by lag spikes considering we're playing on an EU server. Okay, let's take a look at our map. Uh, assuming that this is over here where we need to go to the play area, so we're going to head right up this hill here. And hopefully that's going to take us where we need to go. Yep. Uh, we will work our way up. I assume restricting the play area means they're gonna drop some guns on or some um, gas on us or something. Uh, I don't have a vehicle, so that probably is gonna limit my mobility and end up make me end up dying at some point. Uh, I see the line on the map there, so hopefully that's where we're trying to get to. I like the map style in this game a lot better than Daisy Arma. So, got that classic grid layout, but you've sort of got an indicator arrow there telling you what direction you're going, which is kind of nice, so that you're not quite as, uh, as stuck and left out. So we're going to hang out on the outside edge of this map area. Oh, whoa. Okay, those are explosions. Oh, I guess that's, that's restricting the play area with explosions. It's one way to restrict the play area, I guess. So we should now be inside the, quote, safe zone. 
Uh, let's let's go ahead and loot inside the safe zone a little bit here. I got lucky um, that I happen to be on the right side of the map. There's another car 98. 7.62. Can't be mad about that. It'd be interesting to see how many bullets it takes to kill with the car because the 7.62 round, you know, the NATO standard round, is a pretty big bullet. Um, smaller than a 308 or whatever, but it's a bigger, bigger bullet compared to a lot of the other bullets in this game, <laughs> considering we're looking at 9mm handguns. Let's take a second to look at our map here and kind of see where we want to head. I want to stay out of the city as much as possible, and I definitely want to stay off the road. So, uh, I'm going to head kind of straight to the east, I guess, sort of. Uh, roughly, same direction. The one thing I really don't want is to just sort of get caught up by a lot of players. Um, we do have a lot of weapons, so hopefully we can at least find a fight. Or some clothes. I wonder if I can craft some clothes if I like break down tactical stuff. No. <laughs> I can attach the attach the 4x scope to this car though. Attach the red dot sight to that car. Wonder if there's any difference. Oh, I hear a vehicle. Comes a vehicle. Mate. Oh! <laughs> Killed me with a headshot. Ah, I came in 37 of 95th. That's not terrible. Um, I probably, I, I could have run in that case, but I mean, running wouldn't have made a lot of difference. Uh, probably would have helped if I'd had any armor. I thought I had a motorcycle helmet on, but I don't know if it equipped or not, so I guess we'll find out in the next game. Player Unknown's Battle, the ultimate life and death fight. So far, guys, um, this game is... Oh, there we go. It started without me. The game just started. So this is a, a sort of a pre-game lobby, it looks like. Of course, if you play the game, hit kill, you'll recognize this lobby. For some reason, my controls are currently... What the fuck? I can't turn left and right right now. Well, hopefully that doesn't last until the end. So this is kind of new, uh, the whole giant continent thing. I'm going to jump out as soon as I possibly can. And then we're going to try to head this way. I can already see a bunch of people that are going down faster than I am and doing a better job than me. So we're just going to point ourselves straight at the ground. I don't know why my chute decided to open so early. I must have opened it accidentally. Uh, this is less than ideal. Hopefully, probably going to get to the ground and end up dead immediately, so... That's alright, though. That's the nature of these types of games. Play five games and maybe one of them survive long enough to make anything happen. So we're going to aim for this cluster of warehousey type buildings over here. Those folks are, are headed firmly to the apartments and houses. Uh, we can at least take heart in that this in this beta there are no uh, there are no pairs. It's only solos. Although of course there could be people who link up in a solo game, no problem. Uh, but player unknown wants to test the game as a solo game first, and then they're testing duos later on. Again, uh, if you guys are seeing lag in little spots, it's because I'm on an EU server right now because the start of the regular server doesn't the regular. NA servers don't start until 7 p.m. Um, I still can't turn left and right. What's up with that? I really like this. Just doesn't work at all. I can go forward and back, but I can't go left and right. Uh, what's happening here? Uh, D 
DNA is set correctly. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, okay, well, um, let's try alt tabbing and I'll coming back maybe. This game is one of those games that doesn't like alt tabbing. Uh, I'm sure most of you have encountered. Oh, there we go. Okay, that did it. I'm sure most of you have encountered at least one game like that that just doesn't like it when you alt tab. So, only five minutes to get to the marked safe zone, which is not a lot of time. Uh, quick draw mag, okay. Oh, police vest. Hopefully that gives me some armor. Ho, oh, oh, ho, yes. Give, 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 give. Oh, yes, good. Also, crowbar, we'll take that. Uh, some more magazines? No, there's nothing around, okay. So we got lucky. Uh, we dropped in right on top of a, an assault rifle, so that's awesome. Don't have a lot of... Oh, I just found the aim down sights button that I have been looking for all last game. That's me. Um, don't have a lot of other stuff, but we dropped right on an assault rifle, which is pretty awesome. Okay, I hear someone shooting, so I'm going to hit the deck and just hang out. Where is the safe area? Oh, I'm inside the safe area. Okay, that's good, so... Crossing a street like this, I'm super vulnerable, so... I think the shooting is going on and off over that way. I can kind of hear it. Uh, my directional hearing is definitely not the greatest in the world, um, but, you know. Nice scope there. I wonder if we can put a scope on top of this thing right here. Yeah, we have a scope attachment point. Sick! Uh, quick draw? No, can't use that. So, let's see. If we... Stand up. And scope in? No. No, we cannot. We cannot scope in. Okay, well, so it's only switched between first and third person. And now I'm crouching. Did not want to do that. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like the rape zone. Ooh, but there's a frag grenade here. Uh, frag grenades are nice. I imagine if they're as temperamental as they are in other games like this that don't actually focus on their shooting as much as other aspects, then you're as most likely to kill yourself as you are to kill someone else with a frag grenade. Uh, weave in and out here, and hopefully we can see if there's anything else here. Let's get some more... Oh, no more supplies in here. If I was actually good at this game, and I had like a sniper rifle, or some- oh! A stun grenade, that's kinda cool. I will say that the early restriction of the area definitely- the early making the map smaller sort of turns this game into more of a- of a shooter than- than other survival games I've played, because you just really have that whole aspect of everything being a bit more Urgent, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Everything's a bit more urgent. I'm going to keep weaving in these boxes because there could be someone up on the towers there that has a good line of sight on me. They turn and just kind of waiting for me to get close enough to hit. Oh, padded leather jacket. That's nice. Finally found some clothes. Uh, I don't know if weather is an effect. I know they mentioned that weather was part of this game. So, I don't know if weather affects survivability or anything. Ooh, painkillers. Nice. So, what do these guys do? Oh, I don't know. I took them. I don't know what they do. That's probably a bad thing. Oh, whatever. Uh, so, if we put if we take this guy off, and then we put on the holographic site, I wonder if that makes any difference. Change our, like, range or anything. Don't know. Two fifty one people remain. So we're gonna head into Oh, we are in the red zone. Uh hopefully that doesn't mean we're about to die horribly. I'm guessing it just means we're gonna get bombed. Uh no, we already have a purple padded leather jacket. We'll see if the bombs kill us, I guess, because we're gonna hang out right here. We're Oh, I'm technically outside the allow the allowed play area. Crap. I'm close to inside of it, but I'm 
just outside, so we're gonna we're gonna book it this way to get inside that circle and get out of this red circle, hopefully. We're now inside the play area, but we're still in that red circle. Go and try to get out of that red circle before the bombs drop. Oh, it's gonna be close. Cool girls don't look at explosions. Alright, I'm outside of it. But yeah, that's where we just were over there getting the shit bombed out of it. So we're gonna go this way. There's another little cluster of buildings over here. Uh, we'll see if we can find any loots in that cluster of buildings. Hello, OTZ. That's how you spell loots. I wonder if the guy that was over there shooting ended up dying. Oh, there's somebody over there. Oh, he's shooting at me, too. I think he hit me. If you look at my armor on the bottom there. Oh, I didn't even see him. Damn. <laughs> well, there's two rounds of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds for you guys. Um, it's a little hard to play on EU servers. I'll probably play some more on NA tonight. Uh, but that's just the first look uh, on the EU side. Remember, this is the beta, and that is the EU side. And I am very bad at survival games, so uh, take it with a grain of salt. But I definitely want to come back and check out the US servers as well. Uh, this has been Fiona Fox, and a first look real quick at Player Unknown's Battlegrounds EU server.